Hey there, it's so nice to see you. I'm going to show you how to paint this coconut step by step. I'm going to show you how to paint white things, how to mix the colors for the shadows and really make the white pop. And also show you how to paint the coconut from all sorts of different angles. So you have a variety to choose from and it's super fun, it's super relaxing. I also show you a few tips and tricks how you can make highlights and shadows. So. I can wait for you to get started. All right, let's start painting our coconuts. So to get a better understanding of how to paint white fruits or white things in general, let's talk about the colors you're gonna need. So the shadows of a coconut can be cool or warm. They could be bluish, could be brownish. For this painting, we'll be using cool blues for the shadow and they will look grayish, so for that, you need a little bit of blue. So I will be using uh, a warm blue, a little bit of warm blue. And remember, the more water you use, the lighter the color becomes. So now if you add it to your paper, it's, it's really blue, but you can actually mute it a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my yellow ochre just to mute this color a little bit. And then you can already have, and you get a slightly greenish color. So this is another type of shadow you can use. Or you can add a little bit, you can also add, what can we add? So let's see here, uh, a little bit of a brown. So this is a sepia, so burnt umber, for example, you could add. And now you have another type of blue. Now it's a little bit grayish and brownish. And let's see here, so let's remove this. So we have another clean slate here. And then again, I start with my warm blue. And then add some water. And then I add a little bit of my sepia color. The sepia color is pretty much like a burnt umber. And I will add it to my blue. Now it's a little bit cooler again. I'm adding a little bit more. Okay, this is already too much, but let's see. So this is how it looks. So see, I have now this bluish gray, and I think this is actually pretty good. So let's add a little bit of blue back. Okay. So we have this bluish gray now. And I think that's a, a nice color to work with. So if you add a little bit more water, and dilute it a little bit more. We have a nice gray blue color. So again, I used just a blue. Uh, this was a warm blue and I added a little bit of a brown, uh, like a burnt umber type of brown. And you get a variety of different pastel colors. And I think this is a, a great color to use for the shadows. And now that we have the color figured out, let's move on to painting the coconuts. Now for the beginning, let's paint a few smaller pieces just to get a feel for the coconuts. So here I'm just, um, you know, you can buy these uh, slices or chips almost. So I'm just creating small circle like here, not a circle, a curve like so. And then they basically go in like in and then we have this shape and then on top you have the coconut brown color. Now let's work on the shadows and how to make it more three-dimensional. Now we already have the color for the shadows. So this is basically how we will make the white stand out. And for this, just use your brush, a green brush, load up some of the paint and then you can start shaping this um, I don't want to say watermelon, the coconut. So let's start adding shadows to the bottom. For example, here where we have these uh, cut out shape of the coconut. And then the coconut also has like a little bit of uh, like these wavy lines, not wavy lines, but like these carved in areas where you break open the coconut and you have these zigzag shapes. So this is what we want to recreate. So basically what you can do is you can use the same color and just add some of these shadows as a, like random lines here and there. 
following again the curve so you don't want to just add them like here you want to follow the curve like so and you have a little bit of this um, blue here as the shadow but also it will help you make the white stand out so you have a little bit of shadows here and on top here below the brown brown uh, outside you can make it even a little bit zigzagish like so and then for the top part we can add uh, it's a, like a brownish, there are different types of brown in the coconut outside uh, shell. So for this, I will be using uh, my different browns. So I have a warm brown, this reddish brown, and then I'm just adding this right here a little bit, just brushing it over. Again, you make sure that it doesn't run into your wet paint. And if it does, it's also totally fine. It looks actually pretty cool. And to make it more three-dimensional, you can add either just a line like so, following the curve, or you can add just a little bit of dimension by adding like a little thicker line and creating a parallel line here. So basically you create the shell on top that's a little bit visible. So you don't see a line, you actually see the top shelf a little bit tilted towards you. So, and to add a little bit more like coolness because it's a little bit too uh, reddish, I'm using a little bit of this sepia color, so this, uh, this grayish brown, um, like a, a little bit similar to burnt umber. And just adding it right here again. Control how much moisture and paint is on your brush by releasing some of the paint in your mixing palette and then just add it right here. And again, the coconut is also hairy, so if you want, you can also add some like lines sticking out like to the side, but just like carefully. I mean, you don't have to make it like, like a hairy, uh, super hairy fruit or coconut, I mean. But I think it looks, it looks fun if you have a little bit of like uneven lines sticking out like that. And you have pretty much a white coconut, just a slight, a small piece. And then we can work with this and build up more pieces of our coconut. To not make this video super long, I decided to upload the rest on my own website. So if you want to learn how to paint all the other parts of the coconut step by step, make sure to check out the link in the description box down below to access the rest of the in-depth real-time tutorial totally for free. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Take care.